Hello my YouTube family members. I am back with another delicious one pot simple tasty budget friendly peanut butter soup. If you are a fan of peanut butter soup then this recipe is for you. If you've never tried peanut butter soup try this one. <laughs> Thank me later. All right, let's dive right into the recipe. I got some chili peppers, ginger, a thumb size ginger, garlic, some tomatoes. Don't mind how it looks. It's not in season, so this is how we get them. I got my peanuts that is soaked. I'll drop a list of all ingredients and their measurements in the description box down below for your convenience. Okay, but I'll mention whatever I'm using. So I'm using beef for this recipe and about a kilo of beef i had to cut them into smaller chunks so that they can absorb all the flavors so you will end up with big chunky beef that is not tasty inside okay it's a one part peanut butter soup i am seasoning with some stock cubes some salt and i'm gonna add some water and i'm going to incorporate my chili peppers tomatoes and everything that I'm going to be using so we're gonna cover this and let it cook for about 20 minutes before we come back and extract it so doing it this way will ensure that it releases all some of its delicious flavors into our um, beef and then at the same time it is going to just soften the soup up and give it an umami taste i blended my peanuts and i am sieving them so i'm just gonna do that off camera because i am using one hand to hold the camera for convenience okay oh this is beginning to smell so no it has been smelling so amazing but this is just the beginning scoop that out blend and set aside So I have saved my um, peanuts. I didn't pre-fry this particular one. You don't need to do that. This is a quick one. So I'm adding it and I'm adding this fish head just to release its flavor. The beauty of this peanut soup is you don't want to see too many particles in it. It's just supposed to be smooth and delicious. Okay. And I have blended all the peppers that I took out. So I'm just showing you that you want to stir and don't cover and make sure you're close by to watch because once it begins to simmer it has a tendency to bubble over and pour into your spawner okay so we're going to cook this until our beef is done i'm tasting to see the doneness of the beef before we will season and continue if you're new to my channel a very warm welcome to you thank you for stopping by i'd like to encourage you to be a part of this beautiful family by hitting on that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you will never miss a clip this is where it is happening okay recipes back to back to back to back delicious tasty budget friendly recipes all right Thank you so much to my OGs. I appreciate you guys so much. Now I am adding spiked palm oil. You want to use a generous amount. Some crayfish and um, stock cubes and then you season with extra salt. Now um, let me tell you a little bit about what went in. That is some hibiscus. That, um, <laughs> we planted, we grow it in my place because I grew up eating the soup. Yes. So, but this soup is so easy. That is the secret of the soup. But if you do not have, it's like it's another special of zobo leaves. So, the one that is not red. Okay. But if you do not have that, you can use some tamarind juice just to give it that sour taste. I tell you, the authentic taste of peanut butter soup has to have some sourness in it you won't understand until you try the two and you know the difference so just give it a try if you have some tamarind paste but this 
is the secret of our peanut butter soup we don't use so much ingredients yet it always comes out so tasty so stir all of that and let it cook and cook and cook for about four to five to minutes to so an hour on low heat because I don't want it bubbling over and this is what we end up with I got fresh vibrant spinach <laughs> and we're just gonna add that so if you notice the water was watery and much but as it cooked down it has become this thick um it's not to take light but thick creamy consistency and i tell you it's so so tasty so delicious so good i like to reserve some of my spinach so that i can use if i'm eating this the next day i can add it into the soup just to brighten things up a bit okay so i hope you give this recipe a try i know you will love it a trial will convince you to so leave me a comment in the comment section so cook this for an extra three minutes. Look at how beautiful it looks. And voila, it's ready. What do you pair this with? Anything. Gary. But Gary is not so perfect. Pounded yam, perfect. But the authentic way of enjoying this soup is with tuan rice. <laughs> tuan shinkafa. Yes, that's how we do it. Tuan shinkafa. Oh my goodness. It slaps. <laughs> it slaps real good. Thank you so much, friends and family, for watching. Hope to see you in my next video, which will be coming up soon. Ciao. Enjoy. Have fun in your kitchen. <laughs>